Here we are in section 2.1 with the answers to numbers 40 through 45. Here the instructions say to create each fraction with a denominator, a different namer, of 54. So here they started with the number 2 thirds. And they said, okay, what do we have to times 2 thirds by to get 54? And it's 54 divided by 3 will give you 18. So we had to times by 18 on top and bottom. And that is... 18 over 18 is a 1. So they didn't change it, but they created it with a denominator of 54. So let's do the same thing here. To have 5 6 equals something over 54, well, 6 times what equals 54? Well, they would have to times by a 9 on the bottom. So we've got to do a 9 on the top to make sure that we have not changed the number at all, that we have times it by a 1. So that is 5 times 9 is 45. 45 over 54 is the same thing. So here, 54 on the bottom. Uh, let me see, 2 times, what's 54 divided by 2 is a 27. So we times by 27. Good, on the top and the bottom, and we get 27 over 54. Next one. Ooh, we just did that. 27 times 2. That's a nice one. So we're going to times by a 2 on the bottom and a 2 on the top. And that'll give us 54 on the bottom. And 23 times 2 is a 46. Let's illustrate that just one more time with our little purple one there. And there we go. That's just a reminder that this we've times by 2 on the top and the bottom, but we didn't actually times this whole number by 2. We just complexified it a little bit so it looks different. Down here on the bottom, 18 times something is going to equal a 54. So we've got to look and make sure that we have uh, 18 times. Oh, that's what happened up here. 18 times 3. So this is going to be a 3 and a 3. 7 times 3 is a 21. So 21 over 54. Now the next one, 5 ninths. We've got to times it by something, and it's going to equal with a 54 on the bottom. 9 times, oh, we did that one right here. 6 times 9 is 54, so this has got to be a 6 and a 6. 5 times 6 is 30. And finally, 1 sixth. We've got to times it by to equal 54. 54 on the bottom, got to times it by a 9 and a 9. So we get 9 54ths. And again, this is, let's draw that in there so we can see. 9 over 9 is a 1, so 1 sixth and 9 54ths, they are exactly the same number. We didn't times it by 9, we just times it by 9 over 9. So we got a new name for it, a new denominator. Good. Okay, now let's scoot these up out of the way and put in number 46. All right, that's better. Now let's look at number 46. And oh, hey, look at this. One third plus one half. Well, up until this point in the class, you can't do this. That's like saying one pig plus one chicken equals what? Well, it's, it's a pig and a chicken. You can't add them. But now that we've established how to change denominators, we can actually do this. So if we take one third and it says we find four different names for one third. So one third could be uh, two six, three ninths, four twelfths, uh, five fifteenths. Uh, let's just do one more for good measure. Six eighteenths. There you go. Okay. And four different names for one half. Let's do the same thing. And put it in a different color here. One half is two fourths, three sixths, uh, four eighths, five tenths, uh, six twelfths. So we've got a whole bunch. I actually got like five different names for them. That's okay. So now we have these. Now it says find the names that have the same denominators. So you'll notice here we have two sixths is another name for one third and 3 6 is another name for 1 half. So these two could actually add together. 2 6 and 3 6 give you 5 6. Look at that. 1 third and 1 half don't add together until you use denominators that are exactly alike. Notice we could have also done 4 twelfths and 6 twelfths. Those guys add together and give us 10 twelfths. 
Wait, does that simplify? 10 divided by 2 divided by 2. Look at that. 5 6 Math is true. Look at that. It works. So that'll be the preparation of how to add fractions that with denominators that are not alike. Great.